All right. So to make a Sporkle quiz, first thing we're going to do is go to Sporkle.com. We're going to register a username. You just sign up for the website. And then we're going to go to create and to create a quiz. Once we click on the created quiz link, that should bring us to here. We need to come up with a name for our quiz. Uh, then we want to click the style that we want. Classic is just the kids have to type in the answer. You have the questions, they type in the answer. Clickable, it's basically like a word bank is there. They just have to click it. Uh, grid is like a crossword puzzle. Map is difficult to explain. It's a pictures and you can click on the picture that's the right answer. Uh, multiple choice is multiple choice questions, usually four answer choices. Picture box is you have a bunch of pictures and you're just typing in the answer to each picture. Picture click is again, you can click on pictures and slideshow is just one picture at a time. We'll go by and you can ask a question for each picture. The ones I like to use best are the clickable and the multiple choice. So after that, you should go to a edit quiz page where you've already chosen the type. You can change it if you want. You've got the quiz name. All right, there's a description and there's like basically the essential question. That's what you're being asked to answer. The permanent link, you can change that if you want. You've got a timer here. You can select how long the quiz needs to be and a category for math. The category would be science because there's no category for math. Uh, you don't need to put the sources or the quiz notes or any of the stuff over here and just click save changes. And then you can go to either the options or the data menu options. You can fill in different options depending on what type of quiz you have. Data is where you're going to write your questions. So let's go to the data tab. All right. So once we have clicked on data up here, it's going to ask us how many rows we want to add. Each row is basically a question. So you just put the number of questions you want and click add. If you want to remove them, you can remove them later. If you want to add more, you can add more. It's really up to you. The limit is 300. I don't think anyone here is going to be anywhere close to 300. But once we add rows, then we're just writing in questions. All right, so here's an example of me writing in my questions. Then I have my answers here. If there's extra info, you can put it. It won't show up on the clickable quizzes, but on some of the other quizzes, it will show up. And you can organize by the extra info if you want. But just questions in the first column, answers in the second column. After you're done with putting in all the data and writing all the questions, you can go to tags if you want your quiz to be more searchable for other users on the site, which probably won't matter for most of us. Presentation, you can change some of the looks of your quiz, like the background colors and things like that. But again, that usually just works for classic quizzes and not really for the, the clickable or the multiple choice ones. If you go to the finish up tab, you can test your quiz. So you can just click on this link and a new page will open up or a new tab will open up that you can test your quiz. If it looks good, you can just launch it to public or you can make it private. If you make it private, you just share a link with your students. If you make it public, anybody can play it, but still you can just share a link with your students. I usually make mine public just in case maybe there's somebody else out there preparing for AP statistics that wants to use these quizzes. All right. And that's how we make quizzes on Sporkle. If you have any questions, you can ask me.